guys it's thursday the 31st of august i've got a fix it here and a fix it here because beauty first thing in the morning lex is away with david laid so i am on my own with the dogs and i'm just going to take you through the day and what i get up to good morning good morning good morning little lady good morning good morning good morning and the prisoner we we'll let Bailey out. Oh, free the Blackburn one. Yeah. Good girl. Good girls. I would be absolutely lost without the dogs when Lex is away because they, they're they just the best companions I could have. They might be slightly annoying when they bark at nothing, things like that, but they're just just so nice to have a little bit of noise and a little bit of companionship when I'm on my own in the house. Normally first thing in the morning I'll have a decaf coffee but I'm all out right now so I'm just going for a regular full caffeinated coffee because I just don't like to get something into me first thing in the morning. Normally I will have one of my protein muffins first thing in the morning but I'm all out so this morning I'm going to have to make some. But first things first, I go onto my phone, onto my social media, and I check all updates and reply to comments, etc. So I will do that while having my coffee, and then I'm going to do my cardio as well, because cardio! I'm just about to head to do my cardio. I've checked all my social media and replied to all the comments, and I'm going to try and get through this litre and a half over the next couple of hours. I'm going to take some vitamins. I've been really good at taking vitamins apart from the last couple of days. I just forget sometimes. So I need to leave them out on the countertop. And I'm going to use this zinc and I use selenium. Now the zinc is really good for repair of cells. So if you've got like bad skin, which uh, uh, I do right now, um, this will just help speed up the process of like clearing up those blemishes and it's good for like nails and hair and all that kind of stuff and then the selenium again really good for your skin just take one of these in the morning pretty much they're the only supplements i take occasionally i'll take some vitamin c if i'm feeling a bit run down i eat a lot of whole foods fresh foods so i don't really think i need a lot of supplementation but the few things i definitely do need are zinc because that helps with my skin and hair, definitely. As soon as I start taking it within about a week, I see the difference in my skin. It just feels and looks a lot better. So we need to clear this up. I'm gonna go do my cardio now. If you wanna see what my cardio is right now, I'm just doing a rowing machine and then I hit up some at-home abs. I covered my at-home abs and cardio routine in my last video, so just check that out if you wanna see it. I've gotten a few questions about people asking how you get a flat tummy and about, uh, strengthening the core so I am a qualified Pilates instructor and I am going to record just some basic beginners moves just to get you started and if that is something you'd like to see just comment below and I'll definitely start doing that because it'll be very simple for me to just put up some simple videos sweaty cardio is done and I've gotten through about I'd say a half a litre of water, so I have loads more. I'm actually parched, so I just didn't drink enough. I'm just waiting on my Asda grocery shopping to be delivered, and um, I will uh, take you through that briefly, because it's not a full week's shopping, because normally I have Lex here, and it's just me by myself, so I was just topping up the essentials that I need. And then I'm going to shower, and then I'm going to record my muffin recipe. Here we have my mini grocery haul from Asda. I'll just take you quickly through it. We have some Fiber One bars. Lex loves the lemon drizzle ones, so I got him some of them for when he gets home. I've got some chickpeas and some chopped tomatoes with garlic. I like to make kind of um, a paprika smoked sauce with this, and it goes really well with like meatloaf and different steaks, chicken, anything. I have some avocado, and then I have lime and chili so that is going to make a really nice guacamole we've got some fat-free cottage cheese i used this for my mousse the other day in the last video so if you want to check out that high protein mousse it is in the previous video i've got some smoked barbecue fajita seasoning i will use that with the peppers to make some chicken fajitas i've got the tilda 
sun-dried tomato, rice and the brown basmati rice. These are my two favourite flavours. I'm not very good at boiling rice. I can never get it right. I've got the Carte d'Or light vanilla ice cream. It is super tasty just to have with a mug cake or on its own and um, has really good macros. We've got some frozen blueberries for the health. We've got some desiccated coconut. I like putting that on top of desserts and different things and it just makes it super flavoursome with a small amount. We've got some highlights, hot chocolate and options hot chocolate you can either make this into a drink or mix it in with some greek yogurt and you've got yourself a chocolate pudding i've got some faye total zero percent yogurt i use this to bake with a lot and um, because it has the added protein and it's quite thick and heavy i've got the chestnut mushrooms because i love mushrooms and they've got amazing macros we've got some carrots again for health just adding into recipes stir fries and thai dishes this is a really good tip we've got the copperberg light so there's less sugar in this in a whole can of this it is 6.5 grams of carbs a lot of the sweet ciders are really high in carbs and just if you're on a diet you do not want to be having them but this you can get have a drink enjoy a drink and then it's only 6.5 grams of carbs per can i got lex his kraken because he loves it and i love the shape of the bottle it just looks pretty i got my standard pepsi max i use this for when I'm having a sweet craving, I usually have one in the evening. I do limit myself now. I used to just drink them willy-nilly and now I'm a little bit more careful about how much I consume. And then last but not least, we have some oven chips. These are only 3.1 grams of fat per 100. And super handy if you're having a lazy day but you want some chips. Now I am going to put all these away and tidy up my kitchen. I'm going to shower and then I am planning on making my salted caramel muffins. Unfortunately, the salted caramel muffin recipe will not be up on this channel. However, I have made the decision to make a separate spin-off channel dedicated to my recipes so that my recipes don't get lost within the vlogs. I want this channel to be like a recipe book for you guys so that you can go back and refer back to the recipes. I will hopefully lay it out very easily and um, put them into subcategories so that you can find my recipes a little bit more easy and access them like you would a recipe book. All of the ingredients will be in the description box below the recipe video and I'm hoping that you guys will go and subscribe to this separate channel it won't have me talking it won't have lex or the dogs in it it will be exclusively for recipes as you can see i've done my hair i've fixed my face covered up the blemishes if you want to see how i get this look just go to a previous video i did on get ready with me the sun is shining and i have the oven preheating and i'm going to record it got my little setup, I've got my light, I've got my tripod. I am going to record my muffin recipe now. I just wanted to briefly talk about setting goals and making lists and how you achieve things that you set your mind to. I've been putting off doing my separate channel, my separate cooking channel for a long time just because I feel like it overwhelms me a bit and it can be very easy to put simple things on the back burner because you're just a bit scared of what's going to happen when you do it and doing something new. I spoke about this briefly on my Instagram and I was just talking about making lists and setting goals and how to achieve them. Every night before I go to bed I set out small goals for the next day. It might be something as simple as do my cardio, do laundry, go to the gym, what I'm going to train, what I plan on doing, what I plan on recording, whether I'm going to edit. And then at the end of the day, I tick off my list and anything that I haven't ticked off goes onto the list for the next day. I also make weekly goals. So at the start of each week, I'll set myself kind of bigger goals. So not drastic ones it might be like this week to start recording my cooking channel or particular videos i want to record for my youtube then i have monthly goals they are like even bigger things that may take a bit longer to do and are more time consuming this is how i get a sense of accomplishment for working for myself because when you go into work in a nine to five job you go in you do your job you get paid when you work for yourself you have to set your own goals and you have to be motivated to earn your own money and to achieve something yourself without a time scale and without a timetable, without working to someone else's schedule. So it can be very easy for me and anyone who works for themselves to sit back and kind of let the days slide by and not achieve your full potential. So you have to be brave and you have to set yourself these little goals just to achieve. Even if you're working for someone else and 
you want to set yourself daily goals in the gym or with your diet or with your lifestyle with your family do that i am a list maker and i find that setting myself these goals gives me a sense of self-accomplishment this is just something simple that i do that i find works great for me and i think it also goes into my way of flexible dieting that i have goals to hit every day and when i hit my goals as in my flexible dieting goals and my macros i feel really accomplished so if you're feeling a bit down on yourself and feeling lacking in motivation, lacking in accomplishment in what you're doing every day, maybe your goals are too big and you're not seeing the results quick enough. So maybe if you start setting yourself smaller goals and then you see the little changes every day and every week, you will feel a little bit more satisfied with what you are doing. This is actually a big accomplishment for me because this is one of my monthly goals is to set up my second YouTube channel and I... I'm a little bit scared because I don't know what's going to happen, whether it's going to be a success or a flop, but I'm going to do it because I feel for you guys as my followers who enjoy my recipes, I think it'll be a lot more easy to use my channel in that way if I have a separate channel. So I'll still be doing all my vlogging and my fitness stuff and motivation on here, but my recipes I find are something that you guys love and that I love doing and I really enjoy cooking and I really want to share more of my recipes, but I don't want them to get lost in the vlog. So now you will have a more accessible way to use all my recipes. I've just finished recording my muffin recipe and here you have it. If you like the look of them, they have amazing macros. They're salted caramel and they've got like a salted caramel center. So if you want to see that, you'll have to check out my new cooking channel, which will be launched so soon. And I'm enjoying it with a cup of coffee. These are super moist and mm, super tasty even if I didn't say so myself. Just having my usual breakfast of bacon, egg whites mixed with high protein cheese. We've got some chestnut mushrooms, reduced sugar ketchup, and some nimble bread with some marmite on. I am a complete creature of habit. When I find something I like, I just eat it over and over again. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. It's 4 p.m. and I've just had my pre-workout coffee and a cookie at one of the Dr. Zach's ones from Muscle Food. So I'm going to go and hit the gym now and do a back and shoulders workout. I'm gonna make it super fast because the dogs have been left by themselves and when Lex is away I don't really like leaving them on their own because I think they get a bit of anxiety with the change in environment anyway so I like to be there with them as much as possible. my gym session got it done in 45 minutes I literally got the entire workout recorded a little bits and pieces before my battery died the battery was flashing the entire time so I was like please let it record it all that disgusting noise it's a little Bailey and a little Roxy having their dinner we have a plum tree out the back of the house and Bailey has taken to jumping up and getting the plums down and eating them but it's actually quite dangerous for dogs to eat plums because of the pips inside and she spent half of the morning throwing up plums at the front of the house, but at least she's not digesting the pips. So that's a good thing, I hope. If anyone has any suggestions for how to keep your dog away from plum trees, please comment below because 
She's like a ninja. I didn't even see her do it. And she had them eaten before I even realized she had them eaten. So I'm going to now have a little snack post-workout. So I'm loving these zippers from Muscle Food. Um, my favorite are the sour cream and cheddar, but I think I'm all out of them. So I'm gonna have a packet of barbecue. I'm just gonna chill out for an hour because I've been on the go all day. I thought I'd be a lot rested without Lex here because I spend a lot of my day kind of looking after him, feeding him, making him cups of tea, cleaning up after him. But I've just been super busy because of my list making, it has made me want to get through a lot of things I can't do when Lex is here because he's kind of in the way. So I've been tidying and cleaning and taking stuff off my list. So I feel like I've accomplished a lot in the past two days. So now I'm just gonna chill out for an hour, watch some Gilmore Girls, eat some zippers, and then I'm gonna make dinner. So tonight on the menu, are my Thai chicken burgers. This recipe is not on my channel yet, and I am going to record it for my recipe channel, so you'll have to go there. Sorry guys. I've had a snack of yogurt and those zippers, and now I am about to prepare some dinner. So tonight, are, tonight I am having my Thai chicken burgers, and as I said before, I will put the recipe up on my recipe channel that you can peruse and use at your own leisure. And right now I'm going to prepare that, eat that, and then I've been working on some emails and little bits and bobs. I'm one of these people who can't just sit and relax, I always have to be doing things and preparing things and making lists. I find it very hard to just unwind, and especially with Lex away, I just am finding it very difficult to relax. I'm a little bit on edge without him here and a little bit anxious. I don't know why, I'm at home and I'm in my own environment, but it's just not the same without him here. See here we have my Thai chicken burger. If you're a fan of everything Thai food, this is the one to go for. It is one of my favorite all-time dishes that I've created. I've used some healthy chicken breast, we've got cucumber, we've got a healthy Warburton's soft wholemeal bun, and then the piece de la resistance, the low sugar Blue Dragon sweet chili sauce. I got this in Asda and you can probably pick it up in a lot of the supermarket. I'm really enjoying creating and sharing all my recipes with you guys online and that's why I created this new channel so it's more accessible to everyone and easier to watch. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and then I'll probably come back and have a snack and I'll fill you in on what I have later. For my final meal of the day, I'm gonna have one of these flapjacked mighty muffins. They're really simple to use. You just add water and put them in the microwave for a minute. And there's like 8.5 grams of fat. We have 15 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. Now there's only seven grams of sugar. With only seven grams of sugar, they're actually a quite healthy little snack and handy for when I want something sweet for after my dinner. And I'm also gonna have it with some of this cart door light. I'll probably weigh out about 50 grams of it. And that's usually like a decent scoop for on top. And 50 grams, there's about 2.2 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and 1.2 grams of protein. So you're not gonna be getting a protein hit like you will with Froyo, but it's still delicious ice cream. I think I've still got some fats left over, so I might put a drizzle of peanut butter on top. Earlier today, I told you about Bailey eating all the plums. I have picked the remaining soft fruit plums and ripe ones that I could off the, the tree. The, 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 the and um, I've only, there's only a couple left that haven't ripened yet and the rest are starting to rot. So I'm hoping Bailey, oh, that was quick. I'm hoping Bailey doesn't eat the rotten ones because they'll really upset her tummy. I also picked a bag of the rotten ones off the tree, hoping that it'll deter Bailey from eating them so that she doesn't get an upset tummy again. So here we have the flapjacked double chocolate chip mug cake. We have some Walton's Farm syrup, the Cart Door light vanilla ice cream. I've put some chopped almonds on top. I really do know how to treat myself when Lex is away. This is me spoiling myself. Because normally, if I make a mug cake for myself, I have to make a mug cake for Lex, and it's just a ball ache. Whereas when I'm just cooking for myself, it's so much easier. There's less cleaning up. I could get used to the single life. I'm only joking, I really miss him. It's 11 p.m. My hair is a mess because I've been on the sofa. I've just had a spoon of peanut butter to finish off my fats. And now I'm heading to bed. The dogs are just outside having their nightly poop. And I just want to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. 
If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.